Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Willis. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the truth behind market manipulation, right? So I want to speak to a lot of traders who are uh, thinking that their brokers are after them. I want to teach you guys what market manipulation is all about, right? And I want to obviously talk about the truth behind uh, brokerage firms. I want to speak about um, why your trades are getting stopped out. I want to clear out that myth. A lot of people think somebody's after them in this market. So guys, if you want to find out the truth behind market manipulation, why you keep getting stopped out, I suggest you stick around to the very end of this video. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapo Willis. As you know, I'm an FX trader and I'm also an e-com guy. I like to trade the FX market. I've been doing this all my life since I was about 17. And I also like to um, run my e-com stores as well. So I come on my channel and I'm always speaking about these two aspects of business, right? FX trading and e-com. And I find both of them very rewarding, as you can tell if you scroll through my channel. But guys, in this video, um, I want to focus on FX trading and the topic, like I said earlier, is about market manipulation. Now, uh, I get a lot of questions all the time, especially when I do webinars in my comments on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram as well. I know a lot of traders are complaining that, you know, they're getting stopped out and they feel like it's their brokers who are stopping them out. A lot of FX guys, believe you me, 75% of FX traders feel like every time they get stopped out is because of somebody somewhere or because of their broker or what have you not so i wanted to take my time out to actually explain to you guys what market manipulation is all about right i'm going to be taking you into my screen and i'm going to be showing you real life examples as to when even i personally was a victim of market manipulation and how i i, I want how i want you guys to actually perceive market manipulation who is behind market manipulation guys you'll be very very surprised so don't go anywhere um, I'm gonna take you guys into my screen right about now hey guys and welcome inside of my screen so I'm gonna be using obviously you guys know I like to use trading view for my analysis um, so I'm gonna be using this blank portion of trading view to really explain to you guys um, the concept of market manipulation okay um, so like I said earlier, a lot of traders feel like somebody's after them, maybe their broker or, you know, they just feel haunted by the market, okay? And a lot of you guys have come across the term market manipulation, somebody's manipulating the market and stuff like that. So I want to, I want to use this to illustrate and demonstrate what actually takes place when market manipulation happens, okay? So this is what a typical market manipulation um, uh, trade will look like, right? So ideally, okay, you probably usually have a resistance level like here, okay, right? You have a resistance level about here, okay? And the market is coming this way, okay? And then you see a pullback this way, right? And then um, the market heads up back into resistance again, right so usually what tends to happen is this right most traders want to start selling at the resistance zone about here so what what will tend to happen around this region because most of the courses you take most of the that's why i don't believe in those other newbie courses and stuff like that most of the books you read you know this is a perfect double top formation setup right so about here is where you will most likely be looking to get into the market, right? And then what tends to happen is this. The market will then show you signs of, you know, the market will then show you signs like, yes, indeed, it wants to start coming off this level. Um, for most traders, the market doesn't even show them signs. What they do is they come and put an order here. Why? Because they, they strongly believe in this level. Okay, so they put a, a sell order somewhere about here, right? 
sell order somewhere about here so what tends to happen is before the market even or they put it right on top of the resistance level okay so before the market even gets to the resistance level okay before the market even gets to the resistance level your sell trade has been triggered okay so your sell trade triggered quite all right and then you because this is a major resistance level you most of the time you're expecting this to the downside right so you want to get in here and then your stop losses right come above the resistance level like this is a typical way to trade the market i mean there's nothing wrong with this okay because this is the way we've been taught how to trade um our mentors our this our that even i was taught how to trade this way right and then what happens usually is you get into a sell trade here and then the market now pushes above here and stops you out and then most often times are not then after you get stopped out the market now drops all the way to the bottom you see this portion right here is known as the manipulation zone what they have come to do here is price has come and has violated what is supposed to be a strong resistance level okay that everybody can see price has come and has manipulated this level taking out people's stops and then dropped down now what i want to do here is i want to explain to you why this happens okay now first things first it's not your broker that is running the stops i want to clear that out your broker really has nothing to do with this if your broker is going to manipulate price they will probably manipulate their spread okay so they might widen their spread maybe you're used to a typical spread of about 0.8 pips they might widen their spread to maybe double of that which is 1.6 to 2 pips two pips is not enough to manipulate your um it's not enough to manipulate your trade or it's not enough to manipulate a major level like this let me explain to you who is responsible for market manipulation in situations like this the people that are responsible for market manipulation in situations like this are people such as the investment banks the hedge funds the people the in the sophisticated investors who have a lot of capital the massive banks and why and how does this occur now guys i want you to pay very close attention to what i'm about to show you guys and what i'm going to say to you guys right about here okay so okay so now i want you to really really listen to what i'm saying now this market gets here okay the big boys the investment banks the hedge funds they want to sell here because at the end of the day if you notice when market manipulation happens the market ends up going in your direction remember that there are times where i see people like oh i was i was right like i i, I predicted it right and then the market just went crazy like i i i, I went i sold the market and then it stopped me up before it went in my direction i get this all the damn time i'm i'm used to hearing it right so um what actually happened was they actually want to sell the market okay they want the market to come down however they have an issue they have an issue now they have let's say about 300 million dollars worth of orders to fulfill i'll take that again let's say they have about 300 million us dollars that they want to sell like they have a sell order worth of 300 million dollars that they want to drop on this market okay and then when they come on their platform they can see that everybody has sell orders here too all the retail guys because this is a major resistance level everybody's thinking sell they want to sell too okay are we on the same page you want to sell i want to sell they want to sell and then they come here obviously everybody has put their sell orders here their sell stops are about this region right right here right and then they so and then they're like okay but do they want to drop a 300 million dollar sell order here now guys you have to understand that there are two sides of the market if people are selling they have to be buyers i take that again if you want to short sell the market there has to be an opposing side of the market whereby somebody has to be willing to buy okay 
And then, but they come and, and they see, they, they come here and then they see that, you know, there are not that many people willing to buy here because everybody's thinking sell. So you know what they do? They allow the market to get to this region about here. Okay, they allow the market to get to this region about here. And then they say, okay, what is going to happen is they will spend out of their $300 million because before I even get into that, I want you to understand something. The reason why they, they don't want to drop their entire $300 million worth of sell orders here is because once the market gets here, listen, once the market gets here and they start to sell that massive order, they might not be able to fulfill all their trades until the market gets about somewhere down here. By the time the market gets here, that's not a good enough price for them. They want, to, because you have to understand that, guys, most of these banks, most of these hedge funds, they are fulfilling orders on behalf of even bigger clients. So they have to get the best price. Guys, this is not this is not technical analysis. This is now we're going into the fundamentals of the market. So I need you guys to understand this, right? They, they are fulfilling orders on behalf of a bigger clients. So they have to ensure that they get the best price possible for their clients. Let me delete this. So them coming to sell here and then the sell coming all the way down here. Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly stop you right there. If you wanted a more comprehensive training of me analyzing the market, I put together a free trading, just click the link below. It will take you, obviously after you're done watching this video, ensure to click the link below and it will take you to a free training that I put together just for you guys. Ensure to check it out. So back to what I was saying. So you have to understand that this is, like I was saying, is the fundamentals of the market. These are things you need to understand. They will help you. Okay, so the banks, or um, rather the investment houses, the hedge funds, they have the obligation to fulfill at the best price possible. If they drop their entire $300 million sell order about here, the market will end up falling here before they fulfill all their orders, and their clients are not going to be happy with them. So what they will do instead is this. They will wait for the market to get to that major area, okay, that major area, and they will take about... 20 million to 30 million dollars of their 300 million dollar order and they will induce a buy trade at this region here now what this is where it gets really interesting when they induce a buy order about here you tend to see the market spike up further now you're probably wondering why are they inducing a buy order now guys think about this you have a sell order here but at the same time, you also have a stop loss here. Okay. Now, what is the opposite side of your sell trade? So you have a sell trade. When you want to come out of the sell trade, yes, it is called close trade. But what is inside of your close trade? What is the opposite of your of your sell trade? It's actually a buy trade. In order for you to close a sell trade. When you click close, what the broker is actually doing is it, it is countering with a buy trade. Are you guys understanding where I'm coming from? Okay. It is countering with a buy trade. So you have a sell trade. Your stop loss of your sell trade is a buy order right about there, right? Yes, it closes the trade. However, the content of your stop loss is the, is the opposing side of the current trade that you're in. So what they've done here is they've pushed the market beyond all this sea of sell orders, pushed it up to go and trigger everybody's stop loss. Why? Because they can see everybody selling here, but above all the sales are a sea of stop losses that have buy content inside of the stop losses. So what they can see here is sales. And they can see a lot of buy orders here, which you can see as stop losses. Apart from your stop losses, you have to remember that there are also the other kind of traders who actually have buy orders here because you have to understand that they are breakout traders as well. They are traders who have said, you know what, when, if we break this resistance and we can't stay below it, that means the market won't start heading higher. So they've gone to put their buy orders here so what we have here in essence is a sea of buy orders 
from people who have stop losses to people who have buy orders now guys guess what this is good news for them because what they have pushed the market into an area whereby they can now fulfill they can now fulfill all their you know sell trades that are inside of them they have 300 million dollars worth of trades they want to sell they have used 20 million to induce induce all these buyers to come into this market okay so they've you spent 20 million so they have about 280 million dollars left they've pushed the market up about here everybody's now you know buying it we had a lot of buy orders now they will now come and drop the remainder of their 270 million dollars worth of sell order so they will now be able to fulfill it at a very good price somewhere about here so guys this is exactly what happens when market manipulation occurs okay you can flip the explanation the other way around actually i'll do um another explanation flipping this the other way and i'm going to show you guys some examples when this happens so guys the question is what do you do in situations like this hey guys so i know i was just about to give you the solution about market manipulation and um, I just explained to you guys what it is and I was just about to teach you guys how to go ahead overcoming market manipulation all the strategies that I use to avoid investment banks from stopping me up I know I was about to give you guys a solution however um, I had to cut that part out because I realized that that video right there should actually be placed on my Forex Mastery course as a course that I have and the information there is actually quite valuable and um, I had a webinar a few days ago and my students were saying that they don't think it's fair for me to put that information out there for free to the public like I always do. You guys know I'm always giving away free information. However, the solution to market manipulation, if you want to find out how to combat market manipulation and how to basically place your trades so that you don't keep getting stopped out by the market makers, unfortunately, you're going to need to sign up for the forex mastery program guys it is so cheap it's 99 bucks i'm sorry i wish i could give you guys that information for free but i just realized that that video the full length of it um where i speak about obviously the solution to it is actually going to go on the forex mastery course if you're wondering how to get it there's going to be a link below it's just 99 bucks and also below there's also a link to a free training where i speak about a lot more other things in detail so guys if you want to find out how to come back and how to beat the market makers you're gonna have to you know pay for the information it's gonna be right there on my forex mastery course and guys 99 bucks literally 99 bucks is nothing the course is packed with a lot of valuable information so click the link below and i'll see you guys on the program but for now take it easy and i'll catch you on my subsequent youtube videos take it easy and peace